In today's tutorial, we have again a look at the conformers of uh, cyclohexene derivative. In this case, it's the trans 1,2-dibromo cyclohexane. And this is, interestingly, a chiral compound, as we will see. Well, here we have one conformer in the chair conformation with the two bromo atoms in equatorial position here in the axial position. In this case, the two bromo atoms are relatively close to each other. However, if the bromines are in axial position, they have steric interaction with the other axial hydrogens like this. And this multiple steric interaction, the 1-3 diaxial interaction, is more serious compared to the relatively close proximity of the two bromines here in this conformation. And therefore, the equilibrium is by far on this side. So, as I said, it's a chiral compound, and with chiral compounds, one can have a look at the absolute configuration according to Kahn, Ingold, and Prelog. Well, okay, hydrogen has the lowest priority, the bromine has the highest priority. From the bromine to that carbon, where the other bromine is sitting, to that methylene group, well, it's clockwise, therefore, it's R. Here, from the bromine to that carbon to the methylene group, it's also R. This is the RR enantio. Yeah. If we make it the same um, <coughs> Kahn Ingold Prelog uh, stuff with that one, we have also here RR. Very often, one makes the mistake that if one wants to transfer this structure in his drawing to the one that has the two bromines in axial position, well, then one tends to simply change the position from the bromine in the equatorial posi position to the axial position. But this is wrong, since in this case it would be the SS enantio mere. So, pay attention to this problem. Thanks for listening.